Hi and welcome to Restored Media channel. Today we're going to show you how to repair corrupted video and audio files online. All you have to do is to go to Restored Media website, go through a very simple registration process, like very simple, you put your email, your full name, your password, and you're good. Upload your reference file, your corrupted file, and start the recovery. Simple as that. Let's get started. I'm already registered, so I just log in. And let's get started. First, you have to tell us about your camera. Uh, you have to pick up your type of camera. Mine is GoPro 4. Now, please describe here um, your reference file. Description is something that is meaningful for you, something that makes sense, so that you distinguish your tasks and reference files afterwards. For example, I'd like to call my uh, file Snowboards Episode 1, um, because I know what I've been recording, and this is how I'll call it, so that it makes sense for me. And go to the next step. Here we upload a reference file, Reference file is a good playable file that was recorded from the same camera with the same settings. It's very important. Same camera, same settings. Luckily, I have one. Now, the uploading may take a while. It depends on the file size, on your type of connection, on your location. It depends, but usually it's quite fast. Now, if you see a following screen, it means that you have done everything correct, everything is well, and you can proceed. If anything is amiss, like you uploaded the uh, wrong file format or anything, we will let you know here. Currently, we can go to the next step. Here, we create a recovery task. And feel free to name the task whatever you like, so whichever makes sense for you, so that you will be able to um, to distinguish uh, your tasks afterwards in case you will be having several. And you can choose whether you would like to recover video and audio, audio only or video only. I want to recover both. And I'll call my video uphill rest. Now, for some types of cameras, uh, we can restore files after it has been deleted and then restored with some other software. And if this would be the case for you, please indicate it here. Let's go to the next step. Here we finally upload the file we would like to recover, the corrupted file. Here it is, in my case. Then again, the uploading may take a while, uh, so just Stay patient and it will be uploaded. Now, the recovery process has already begun and the system is generating preview. We've received all the data we need and on the next step, we will see the result of the automatic recovery. And you will definitely be notified by email when your task is completed. Now, what do we see here? So here we see a few screens taken in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end of the video. And you will be able to see a full-time preview in a low resolution with low bitrate. But don't get worried, because you will get uh, your file in a original resolution when you download the result. So you are able to see the full-time preview low resolution. Now, if everything looks good, you just download the completed recovered file. If anything is amiss and you see some artifacts or a video and audio are out of sync or some other problems, you just try to recover with other settings. For example, try different frame rate. Uh, or, for example, you might notice that you have chosen the wrong type of camera by accident. You can play with the settings and try to recover again. If you think that you have done everything correctly and still there are some artifacts or problems you would like to be fixed, 
ask for a manual recovery by our engineer. We can help, we always do. And if the automatic recovery didn't work well for you, ask for a manual recovery and our engineers will take a look and will recover manually everything that can be recovered. Just indicate a problem here. For example, out of sync, starting and submit your appeal. And we will get in touch with you via the email you indicated while signing up. You can either delete the task or recover another file with same reference file. For example, if you have several files crafted from the same camera and recorded with the same settings, it's very important. Or you can recover another file with another reference. It's up to you. You could create a separate task and start another recovery. So that's how it looks like. Very simple. And that's how the recovery looks like on the restore.media website. Well, I hope uh, you like the video. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you like the video. Mm -hmm. And you are welcome to subscribe, to share our video. And let us know if we can help. Go to Restore.media website and have your media recovered. Thanks again and happy restoring.